Now, if you've only had pickled onions of late from the supermarket, you'll know how disappointing they can be. And when I say that, I think the technical term is they are mushy, even the ones that purport to be sort of traditional pickled onions. Now, Michelle and I have been talking about this. We've always made pickled onions as we've grown up in our families and we made them with our kids. So today we're going to make pickled onions that taste just like they used to absolutely delicious and there is no boiling involved because that is what breaks down the onions and makes them so yucky. So come on, without further ado, let's get on and make homemade pickled onions. Now it's a personal choice what size pickled onions you like. I like them to be a fair old size. Some people like them tiny. It depends what you can buy in the shops. Uh, I would look for a pickled onion that's probably a bit smaller than a ping pong ball. Now you can actually use shallots as well, but this size is a traditional pickling onion. Now all you need to do is just top and tail the onions, take a little bit off of the crown and the base of the onion, and they are a little bit fiddly. You can just get the knife under there and what you want to do, actually this one's just gonna come off in one piece. The outer shell is coming off in one piece, but we need to get all of this brown skin off. Now, I think the beauty when we were kids of doing this was everybody sat around the table and peeled the little onions off. It didn't take long. If there's three or four of you doing it, it really doesn't take too long. Now, I've seen many people say about blanching them in hot water. I don't like to do that. Again, I don't want to heat this onion in any way at all to make it soft. And there she is. That is the perfect pickling onion. Now you can cheat a little bit. If you've got a slightly larger onion, we can just nip the top and tail off of this one. And what you can do is take one layer of the onion off. So effectively you'll lose a layer of the onion, but you'll make a slightly smaller onion. I've got here, by the way, about a kilo of onions and that's around about uh, a couple of pounds. Those of you that have boiled or brined your pickled onions in the past or even salted them, I urge you to give this a try. I just think they're gonna be much more delicious and more crisp. You're gonna want some sort of mason jar or kilner jar to seal the pickled onions in, and you do want to sterilize these. So either put some boiling hot water in there, pop them in the oven and sterilize them that way. Whichever way, they do need to be sterilized. Now you can pickle onions without spices, just straight in the vinegar. Here in Australia, we have pickling spices and this is made up of black peppers, allspice, there's some mustard seed and dill in here. You could also add a little bit of dried chili if you want to. You are going to want, I really insist that you go for malt vinegar. It's gonna enhance the flavor of the pickled onions and it just colors them really nice sort of golden brown. Now here's a jar I've already sterilized popping my pickled onions in there. And it is a little bit of sort of tessellation to try and get the onions in to all the little gaps and nooks and crannies. Now my pickling jar is about a quarter and a half, about a liter and a half. So I'm putting a couple of tablespoons in of my spices, my pickling spices, and they just drop down through. If you want to add chilies in at this point, add a few dried chilies in. And next we're just gonna top this up with our malt vinegar. Now you want your pickling vinegar to be right up near the top here. We can now pop the lid on. Oops, a little bit of vinegar is going to burst out. That's all right. And seal this down nice and tight. Now, something I like to do during the first couple of weeks is to take my pickled onion jar and just turn it upside down on a saucer just in case it leaks a little bit. And that allows the pickled onions in the top of the jar to get full immersion in the vinegar. There you have it, a whole big jar of beautiful pickled onions. Now, you've got to be patient with these. They're not going to be ready overnight. These are going to take at least four to six weeks. So I'm going to suggest you get and make these along with me and we will open these up maybe towards Christmas time and give them a try. I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a few other things we're gonna to do to go with these pickled onions. So look out for those coming up on Steve's Kitchen. As always, I'd love to hear your comments and share any pictures on social media that you do. And if you do make the pickled onions, we'll be talking about them in about six weeks time. Be good and I'll see you next time.